morning from the monorail to Epcot. We are on our way into Epcot to ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind and I'm so excited. I've got Natasha and Rachel with me on the monorail. So we managed to get board in group 16 right at 7 a.m. I refreshed probably about a second to half a second before seven and uh, then just like clicked several times and uh, got the boarding pass. I actually closed the screen at the end. I literally just like click, 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 click and um, managed to get it. So yeah, I recommend being on there just before seven and uh, hitting that refresh button. Make sure you confirm your party, then hit the refresh button right before that 7 a.m. mark. And Natasha also managed to get us a lightning lane. So we were both basically trying at the exact same time. <laughs> yes, yeah. And my lightning, we actually, with the lightning lane, you get to pick the hour, which I didn't realize you could do. I thought you just got a time. Yeah. So I picked between one and two, and I think we're going at 10 to two. Yeah, so which is perfect, because we've yeah, got yeah. a lunch reservation at three, so it works exactly. out really well. And it's $17 each at the moment. Yeah. We get another view of all the construction going on here. We're going inside. I'm so excited. It's nice and air conned. Ah, this is so exciting. Honestly, the last, we got to ride this once before. The whole thing is a blur. <laughs> it's such an exciting ride that like, I don't remember what happened. I was worried about my mom. <laughs> we were both really worried about mom. <laughs> and then obviously Natasha, it's our first time. Yeah, same. I've never been on a Disney ride this early. But perhaps most renowned for our technological advances. From artificial intelligence to intergalactic travel. To learn about our history and culture inspired the Galaxarium we brought here to the wonders of Xandar at Epcot. One of our more advanced projects is our APG, or Atoll Power Generation. Oh my god, that was so good! Natasha enjoyed it! I loved it, I loved it. It wasn't so bad. I did I did take a Dramamine, I drank like two liters of water. <laughs> and it was fine, it was fine, it was so good, it was amazing. Yeah, we were a little bit worried about her motion sickness because hers is even worse than mine. But uh, yeah, she was fine. She was saying like just towards the end, like the right end, just at the right time for her not to be yeah, too ill after. Right um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed it again. And we got such a good song as well. What's that song? September. September. Do you remember? Do you remember? Yeah. yeah. I was literally like September. boogied in my seat. I was having such a good time. Guys, that ride is amazing. So it's one of the best new rides. Like, I can't think of, I don't know, though, Blast Coaster was amazing. Yeah, Blast Coaster. <laughs> but that's so different because that's a whole experience. Like, the technology is amazing. I just love it. And, like, you think the most exciting parts of the rides are over and then, like, the ride just kicks in again. Oh, it's just so good. It's so good. I love it. We are all dying to go to the loo. We're going to head into Connections Cafe. So just to note, right, I was on this morning. I mentioned this earlier on the monorail, but I was on this morning uh, about, about quarter to seven, confirmed my party, and then I hit refresh. Like, I had a digital clock up, and as the clock hit 59, I pressed refresh. And I didn't press it on 59. The clock hit 59, and then I pressed refresh. So I was, like, just before 7 a.m. So I didn't wait for the clock to hit 7 a.m. And then, like I say, I literally just tap, tap, tapped. Like, so where the refresh button was, just just tap 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 and um, now I tapped all the way through and actually closed the screen and then um, I went into my genie day and then I could see the virtual queue now Rachel also tried for virtual queue she errored out obviously because I had got it and she refreshed at seven so it was better to refresh like I say just before seven like a millisecond before seven now another thing that happened was that our return time was showing like it was gonna be ten we're just chilling in Connections Cafe. So what I was saying about the 10 a.m. thing, so when I originally signed up to the virtual line, it gave an estimated wait time, which would have put us at boarding around 10 a.m. But as soon as the park opened, they actually called our group within the first group. We were boarding group 16, so I think they called like one to 16. So our app then updated and said, we needed to board by 9.31, <laughs> 9.31. Um, so at that stage, like we were in the Polynesian, we were getting ready to check out. So we kind of just hurried and finished packing, call bed services, 
and went to get the monorail and it took us a little while to get over so we actually missed that half nine slot it was about 9 40 9 45 um, and it came up on the app then that our boarding group had expired uh, we weren't too worried we figured they would sort us out and let us in but actually when we arrived at the ride they were announcing the sign said boarding groups like 21 to i don't know something um i think it was like 21 to 30 something but actually when we went to up to the place where you scan your band to come in that's not my band but i'm holding the camera with my band uh the guy there was saying boarding groups one through to like 30 something and then when we scanned our bands they just went green there was no issue so don't get like too panicked if you see that you've missed your boarding time because it's jumped up and i would say if you're in like boarding groups one to 20 you probably need to be there shortly after park opening um, that just wasn't possible for us this morning because we were checking out and uh, we didn't realize we were going to get such an early boarding time. I thought it was actually going to end up being quite late, but I guess I was super quick with the tap, tap, tap. <laughs> and we got in one of the earlier groups. There was actually people on our monorail in the exact same position. They thought they wouldn't have to be here till like 10, half 10. And they also had their group expire while they were on the monorail. So um, yeah, just, just so you know, that's how it worked. And um, they were like, it was so easy to get in, even though that had happened. We're just having the end of our Gideon's cookie. There was a whole cookie, but um, it died a quick death. Yep. It was delicious though. This was the pistachio, which it is our favorite. Day. Is that your favorite as well, do you think? I think so, yeah. The pistachio is the best. It is the best. We are just heading into the queue to head into the creation shop, because this is where they will have the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind merchandise. Hopefully they still have a few bits. Also, I love this store. Like, it's such a cute store. They've got so much good stuff in here. I wanted to come back actually and look at some of the bits I'd seen earlier in the trip. One of the things we had to pick up was the Starbucks Epcot mug for my mom. So that is going. Oh yeah, it does have Ola. And it has, what's it have? Test track, it has, I guess this is from Soren as well, having the fireworks over Epcot. That's cool, yeah. I think she'll like that. They have some of the t-shirts left, which have the opening date, which was yesterday. They just have large and extra large, but actually they're really nice oversized. So Rachel's gone for the large, and I've gone for the extra large. So I'm a UK 16, and this is an extra large. I have normally been getting large for any of the unisex stuff, for sure, because it is bigger than like a UK large, I guess. Um, I might have picked up XL in one of the women's tops, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, normally for the unisex stuff, I'll go with the large and that's a good fit for that size. Looks like they have some more stuff over here. Oh, they've got another t-shirt as well. Oh, and this one is just a general shirt. Oh, and it has like, oh, that's cool. It's like they've done it like it's a concert tour. That's really cool. Oh, wow, there is so much merch. So there is going to be a specific merch store for the ride. It's just not open yet. Oh, what? It's oh, have wow. When you heat up. Oh, that's cool. And what's the writing say? Oh, Quill Family, Quill Family 87. That's cool. That's a cool. I did think it might be one of those heat up ones looking at the mug itself. How much is that then? $20. And then they've got these cool coasters. These are really nice. The coasters are $29.99. Rachel has been looking at the magic band. Do you want to show us? We probably should have got like a basket or something. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so nice, isn't it? And that's a limited edition one as well. They've only got 2,500 of this band. It's so nice. It's just a shame because they are bringing out new magic bands very soon. I think otherwise we would get it. But it is cool. It's a really good design. And we haven't seen many magic bands at all because they are phasing them out. So it seems odd actually that they have brought out a new yeah. design, doesn't it? Oh, cute. A little oh, notebook. Let's do the same. Yeah. Oh, it does. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. How much is that little notebook? 20. 20 as well. That's not bad. That is a cute notebook as well. It's a nice little pocket, like size to put in your bag or whatever. Oh, look at this. What is it? If it was a dog toy, I would totally get it for Pumba. It's I, like, yeah, no, she's what Rachel's right. Is it? Are you supposed to ah? Oh, oh Natasha did it. Ah! <laughs> it's like a little stress reliever. So that's nine ninety nine. Oh my god! <laughs> I love this mug with the Groot spoon. How cute is that? So like he's obviously just gonna like sit with his little hands there. I am Groot. That is twenty two ninety nine. These things are gas. Just singing away. Thirty dollars for those. 
They have these cute little bags. Aren't they really nice? They've got like the tape recorder. And they're $39.99. That's quite nice. Oh wow, they've got Loki Scepter, $119.99 for that one. And the Power Stone is $99.99. Wow. They have some special pins, they've got key rings, they've got phone covers, lanyards, lots of little bits, magnets, all here. Oh, we've got some little ducks, little baby ducks. That's so cute. This is right outside the creation store. We just checked out. Oh, bless them. They don't seem bothered by the people at all. They are just like out to get their feet. That is so cute. Yeah, I don't see a little mama duck though. Where's our little mama duck? Look, they're all heading back on in. Oh, that is so cute. We're going right by the topiary. We've got Donald and Daisy. Huey, Dewey and Louie, Mickey and Minnie. And I think our plan now is to head around the World Showcase. So we just checked out in the creation store using the mobile app. It's so handy. Um, if you are in the app, you just hit the little plus button and then you can do your checkout on there, which is just really good. Cause there was quite a big queue obviously with all the Guardians of the Galaxy stuff. That frozen margarita line in Mexico, it's always massive. And it's usually bigger than the line inside for Cava de Tequila, which I think is a lot better. I guess when it's really hot, you might want a frozen one. Did you want to go inside? We can go have a quick look. Yeah. I do love their margaritas. What's your favorite or do you have a favorite? Oh yeah. I do like a chili salt rim. The, I think it's the El, El Diablo is the jalapeno one. Oh, the avocado one's lovely. It's very refreshing. Here we go. Okay. Oh, wow. So Calvo de Dulquile is pretty busy. <laughs> it's probably slightly longer, I think, than the one that was outside. It's pretty nuts in here. We're stopping into the Norway toilets. <laughs> These are nice toilets here. I feel like between toilets and water fountains, you know, it's really good to know the good ones. So uh, Connections Cafe has a really good water fountain because you can actually just go up to the fountain drinks machine. And uh, if you look out for the little gray button, you'll get some lovely cold water there. But yeah, these are nice toilets. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> so Olaf was a little bit broken on that ride, the first one, which is my favorite one when he welcomes you in. And um, unfortunately Natasha got a bit wet. I think she got literally splashed right in the face. <laughs> yeah, you definitely get more wet on that ride than I ever remember. And it's the same with pirates. I don't know what they're doing with the water these days, but like... You get wet on these rides now. Both of mine and Rachel's butts got wet because the seat was wet. Yeah, I think that the middle seat is the best seat if you're trying to avoid the splash zone. We're just past the China Pavilion. Natasha is getting some bubble tea. Myself and Rachel are just taking a little rest, rehydrating. And then we've also got these delicious macadamia nuts. We got these in Target yesterday and uh, we took them to the park just because we're moving rooms today so we figured they would just be left and they'd melt and whatever but actually they've held up well to this point in the park and they are so so delicious so so tasty and they were kind of expensive I think it was like five dollars for this bag but honestly they're so so good so if you see them and you like macadamia nuts with chocolate definitely recommend. <laughs> We're on the move now towards Germany. The plan is to try and get some bits from Caramel Couch because can you believe it? I haven't been in that store once yet, which is absolutely outrageous. I normally go in a few times. I just love everything they do in there. The popcorn, the lovely caramel marshmallow little swirl things. So yeah, we definitely have to pop in and just Look at caramel everything and probably pick up a couple of bits as well. So they don't have the little caramel marshmallow swirl anymore, but that's fine because we're gonna go for one of these little bars down here with sea salt and then we're also gonna get some popcorn as well. We've popped next door into the Christmas store. Oh, Natasha did tell us there was a nice mug here and that is so cute. 
Oh, that is such Christmas feeling, isn't it? Also the, the <laughs> today for all your pastries. Oh. This is so cute. Yeah. And the globe. <laughs> yeah. and, the globe. <laughs> and the blanket. Oh, that is really nice. Oh. Well, the whole German Christmas vibe is really good. It's like Christmas markets, cozy. Oh, it's so adorable. It is really nice. So they have some nice things in the glass store here. Obviously, we went into the Christmas store as well. It's a shame though, there are still a good few stores closed. Like over this side, the toy stores are closed. So we think we better dig into our little caramel milk, chocolate and salt bar because <laughs> it is starting to sweat just like us um so yeah let's dig into it wow that is super thick caramel but it's so nice it's nearly like a toffee consistency caramel like a soft toffee oh it's so good it tastes so delicious but it's a lot <laughs> wow so they just made a live announcement <laughs> to let everybody know that the Guardians of the Galaxy virtual queue that opened at one o'clock, which is your second attempt to get one, is now full. It is two minutes past one. I'm sure it probably sold out in seconds, just like the morning one. But I guess they make that park-wide announcement just so they don't get loads of questions and stuff. So yeah. This is a detail. Hi. Sure. What's your question? <laughs> oh, it doesn't tell you the beers. I don't know how to say it, but it's like shopper hopper. Oh, it's on tap, that's why, okay. So then they've got the beers they have up there, okay. You can also get the jumbo pretzel here, yum. But yeah, we're basically getting grapefruit beer. Oh yeah, you can see, it says grapefruit. If you like the grapefruit beer here, I really like the Brewdog Elvis juice. Um, that's a really nice IPA, it's got that grapefruit flavor and it is so, so good. It's my favorite one to have at home. And uh, yeah, I think it's just as good, maybe even better. We'll have to try this because in fairness I haven't had this in ages. Let you know what we think. Oh, Rachel has been waiting for this moment. It's more refreshing than like the Elvis juice. Elvis juice, yeah, you could drink more of this. Yeah, this is like... You could just drink it quickly. Yeah. <laughs> and we were just saying as well, yeah, the Elvis juice is less juicy, which is <laughs> a bit <laughs> ironic. But uh, yeah, this tastes more like a juice beer. Yeah. Does that make sense? So you're saying you drank loads of this in Canada? Yeah. This is so good. I can imagine it'd be like it's a nice easy drink when you're out and stuff. When it's sunny, well. I think it's a nice one. Yeah, that's true actually. It's very refreshing. Okay, we're gonna continue on. We're gonna drink while we go. It is really overcast today, which has actually been so nice because it's a lot cooler. We've not got the sun like blasting on us. And it's made it so much nicer to walk around. Natasha's a big Alice in Wonderland fan, so she is gonna have a really thorough look through what they have here. The ears are really cute actually. Oh, the apron's really cute. It's always, what's it? Is it, it's always tea time. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. I just would never wear an apron really, because I never bake anything. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The plate is gorgeous. Oh, so is the magnet. The magnet's really cute. I really like the magnet. One thing to note as well, actually, which we didn't realize is that you cannot send items to your hotel resort. So, and you can't pick them up at this, the park. I think I'm sure you used to be able to pick them up at the front of the park or you could send them back to your resort. You can't do either of those right now. They just haven't come back with that service since COVID. Now we would normally then have just left the merch and come back later, but just because of it being the Cosmic Rewind opening and there was a queue to get in when we went, a very short one, but I can imagine that queue is gonna get bigger during the day. And we just didn't want to risk it that like, you know, we'd have an hour wait to get into the store. So we just looked it up and we're carrying it around. It's just starting to rain. Um, it it's just drizzles for now, but it might pick up. Uh, we just actually dived into the Tangerine Cafe because they have a vanilla, oh, losing the light, a vanilla rose water panna cotta. So Natasha's gone up to get that. We're just gonna sit down and try it. Oh, wow, it's so pretty. So it is a rose water and pistachio panna cotta. So obviously you can see the little pistachio crumble and it is really, really pretty. So I thought the outside was gonna be soft, but it's actually a hard layer and then it has the soft panna cotta on the inside. No. Nice. No. We're just heading back into France. We're gonna have a little look at the stores around here. The Beauty and the Beast area is amazing. There's people like queuing up to get pictures and stuff with it. We're gonna try the UK stores now. We didn't have any luck in the French stores, didn't find anything we were looking for. 
Natasha is looking for a little present for her brother. They've got these corgi pajamas and plates and everything. We're popping over into the second store now. This is usually where you will find the few Irish bits that they've snuck into the UK pavilion. Yeah, look, so they've got like, yeah, Guinness, St. James' Gate, Dublin. So if you are interested in um, Guinness and the Guinness factory, you actually need to go to Ireland, not the UK. But um, yeah. They just kind of decided it was close enough. The, um, the pavilion to the UK and Ireland. Yeah, or have a little Ireland shop. Yeah. You know, a dedicated one. That'd be nice. I mean, it's pretty much the equivalent of like putting the Canada shop in the US. <laughs> it's very, quite similar. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's always a bit bizarre like seeing all the Irish stuff in here. But I, it is good that they have got some Irish merch because I know there's lots of Americans that have Irish heritage and everything. And that, you know what, that's actually why it's so bizarre as well because there are so many Americans that have Irish heritage and stuff. I think it'd be really cool to have a dedicated Irish pavilion. So that's what I would like to campaign for. I mean, there is genuinely more Irish stuff in here than there is British stuff, so it's a bit odd. <laughs> here we go, we have some Welsh stuff here in Scotland. Oh my god, and then there's an Irish tour. This is so bizarre. Like, it's incredibly not politically correct. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so there was actually a cast member. I think she overheard us when we were just chatting because it was one of the first times we've been in here and we are like, oh my god, they have like Guinness stuff. That's a bit bizarre because it's for the UK. And she was like, oh, but yeah, D like Diageo owns Guinness and Diageo is a UK company. And I was like, yeah, but what about the Irish jumper? <laughs> and I was like, you can't really justify that one. <laughs> Those girls. But yeah, I mean, like, it doesn't really offend me, but um, I can imagine that some people may actually be offended. <laughs> I definitely know some Irish folk back home that would be pretty offended to see all the Irish merch just sat in the UK pavilion. I mean, there's a lot of history there, guys. <laughs> Captain Hook and Peter Pan are so cool. That's one of the really cool topiaries they have here. I love it. Topiaries. I really can't say that word. I mean, I don't know if anyone can really say it properly. I always hear people struggling with it. We have come back for the corn. Yes, it's our third time. It's also our third week though, so I think one corn a week is acceptable. I've done two corns in one week. <laughs> but it is amazing though, right? Yeah, exactly. It's so good. Ah! Ah! Run away napkin. You do need lots of napkins though. Oh, amazing. Ah, there it is. We're ready to launch. We are sat in Space 220. We're in the lounge area, which I think is most of this raised area. Although last time when we were here for the restaurant, we were just over the side in that booth over there. So um, this is a bit of a better view because it's more central. So you can see either side of the screen. And in terms of our order, we've gone with the deviled eggs, starry calamari, the blue moon cauliflower, and we were gonna get the chicken on waffle, but our server actually said the short rib sliders were the best thing on the menu and to swap those out. So that's what we've done. We're just planning to share between us. And then uh, for drinks, what drink did you, you went with the at atmospheres? And Natasha's gone for the atmosphere. So you can see the prices here, that's $16. And then myself and Rachel have gone for the Sierra Nevada Hazy Little Thing IPA. Uh, so just for reference, this does say draft, but uh, when we were here last time, my mom got the Blue Moon for $11, and it was half a pint, it's not a full pint. I don't know, I feel like $11 for half a pint is a bit steep. <laughs> We've got the Blue Moon Cauliflower, the Sliders, these are the rib, ribs, low ribs, what? Some ribs, some two ribs, short rib sliders, I think that's it. Um, the deviled eggs are over here and then the starry calamari. So when you first come inside, you have the door for the lock off on the left hand side and then the bathroom is on the right. There's a couple of plug sockets in the hallway there and then we'll just take a look back at the door itself. There's a little light switch as you come in there as well. This is the bathroom. We've got the typical bath shower with quite a cute looking shower curtain. It's got Mickey on there. 
And then you can see it is just a standard shower bath, the usual that you get in a lot of the Disney resorts. We've got some towels here, the little washing line that you can make, you hook it in over the far side there. We've got our toilet, toilet paper, towels on a rack here, a little bin in the bathroom, and then we've got this nice little sink area. We've got storage down here. They've given us like extra tissues. That's where you also find the hair dryer. As with all of the other rooms, we've got the body lotion and facial soap, and then we've got some tissues, some face towels. Oh, actually, look, we actually got the shampoo and conditioner in separate little bottles too. I didn't notice that. So we don't have the wall bottles in here. Um, that's interesting. So bath soap. Yes, yeah, so we've got body wash, shampoo and conditioner in the individual bottles. Next up then is something a little bit different compared to the other studios. It's a separate little kitchen area. So we've got this cute little tea towel that's been tied into a bow. And this little counter area, our coffee pot. A toaster, microwave, all of the usual ice bucket. Then up here, that's where we've got all our paper cups and plates and things. And there's another just shelf up there. It doesn't have anything on it. Let's see what this thing is here. Oh, this pulls out. Oh, that's so nice. So that's perfect. Like if you've got bits of food and stuff. Oh, that would have been so handy for all of our snacks. Oh, I really like that. And then we've got our fridge. That's pretty typical fridge. Oh, there's a little freezer section. We didn't have a freezer section in the Polynesian fridge. So there are like lots of like little differences that you see between the resorts. And we've got our coffee in the drawer and then all our little coffee bits, knives and forks, etc., And uh, the bottle opener. And then, yeah, these ones are just empty. So there's loads of storage in the kitchen. This is a real deep drawer then as well down the bottom. And I don't want to disturb the tea towel. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that's where the bin is. And then I think that's our, oh, that's laundry detergent. Perfect. On the left-hand side there is this wardrobe. It's a decent size. They've actually given us hangers. I think in one of the rooms we either didn't, oh yeah, it was the old QS, we didn't get hangers. Um, in Polynesian, they gave us a small amount of hangers, but then they brought us more, which is really helpful. Um, we've got a iron and iron board, luggage rack, safe, and then the extra pillow and blanket is up the top. Coming into the main area then of the studio, Rachel's just having a little rest over there on the sofa. <laughs> Um, on the left hand side we have got the TV. It's actually quite a small TV. We've had a really big TV in all of the other rooms. Um, but this one is small and it doesn't look like a smart TV either. So um, yeah, it's definitely not. That's a bit strange because like, I would have expected Bay Lake to be a little bit more modern. Um, like there is a thing under here which I guess you could plug in your like Amazon stick or something. There's a DVD player, like that's all very retro, right? I wonder if they just copied like some of the, or they, you know, use some extra bits from the contemporary or something. It just seems very odd. I kind of expected this to be quite a modern room. Yeah, it just seems strange compared to like Animal Kingdom Lodge and uh, Polynesian both had um, really big TVs, like Oki West had a big TV as well. Um, and they were uh, smart TVs too. So um, there are shelves here, uh, which is handy. There's actually quite a good bit of storage in this studio compared to some others. There's a Holy Bible and there's two of these like smaller drawers here. And then you have two bigger drawers. The bottom one's even bigger again. It's a lot deeper on both sides. We've got a bin down there, another little shelf, like I say, that has a little console, like a DVD player and stuff. They've given us this little 50th booklet as well. And I guess there's some, you know, space to leave some things on the surface there. We have got this book in a few of the rooms as well. And then we've got our table with two chairs. Above that then is a mirror. We've got a light here too. And then, <laughs> You're right there, Rachel. Yeah, cold. You'll be cold. <laughs> we've got the sofa bed. We've got the poof here. We've actually literally just been sat here on TikTok with our feet up on the poof for the last while. And um, yeah, the aircon has kicked in quite strong, hasn't it? I don't know where the thermos that is. I'll have to go check it. Um, there's a little phone by the bed there, and then we have 
our double bed. Yeah, this little table is quite handy. Um, there's a table on both sides of the bed, so um, that's handy for each person having their own little locker and there is plug sockets there. There's definitely like not any USBs either. So we've had USBs in all the other rooms as well. I don't see any like little USB ports. Um, out onto then the balcony, you can see here, we've got this, I mean, it's pretty basic hotel balcony, but we've got the lovely view because we have a lake view room, which is a bit more in terms of points, but it's obviously really nice to have that view. We actually had not intended to come here. <laughs> But um, I messed up the dates of the reservation and I thought we were flying home today. So um, I hadn't actually booked a room for this night. And so, yeah, we ended up just going with whatever was available and it was this room. Right, let's adjust. Oh my God, 66, no wonder it's cold. But yeah, you can see like all those extra bits of storage and stuff, like you've got the shelves in here as well. There's definitely a good bit of shelf space, a good bit of drawer space which is nice. I mean, it's all right. I kind of thought I would be a bit more impressed with this room, if I'm honest. I think I thought it was gonna be a bit more modern. And um, I love this. I love this little kitchen area. I love that it's separate to the studio area, like to the main area of the studio. I love that you've kind of got a little kitchen to pop into. Um, it's quite nice. You can come in here and make your coffee and things. And um, like I say, there's loads of storage in here. Like if you are planning to stay for a while and you've got your snacks and stuff, I really like that pull out thing that you have at the end there. So yeah, there's definitely some pluses to it versus some other studios. I think this is probably the biggest plus. Um, but then yeah, some minuses being that um, I don't think a lot of the room is quite modern. I really am not massive fan of this whole situation this is quite a large unit and then such a tiny little tv um it seems a bit odd but um i do like the view from the balcony that's really nice so yeah we'll see how we get on we only have one night here so you know we're not gonna get a massive amount of time to assess the resort and everything but i love the location obviously that's amazing being so close to magic kingdom we spent the rest of our evening just chilling at the resort. We got to take in some lovely views of the sunset over Magic Kingdom, watching the monorails go by. We packed up then as well, ready to head home the next day. So join me in the last vlog of this series where we spend our last day at the Magic Kingdom. We head out for a bit of food and then we get to fly in the new club suites with British Airways. And coming right after this vlog series is a brand new solo vlog series so make sure you are subscribed thank you so much for watching bye